Welcome back Rocha family. It is Noelle and I'm here with my 26 week twin pregnancy update. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button, turn on your bell so you get notified when we post, like this video, and let's go. So, the last time I made one of these videos was roughly 20 to 22 weeks. Um, it is, it's been a journey. <laughs> um, if you watched that video, you knew that we had experienced a car accident. Well, I am here to tell you that we got ran into again. So <laughs> that sucks. Um, I don't have a story time on that video because it was just like, I just figured I would just like lump it in with this video, but just long story short is um, we had to yield for an ambulance who was blazing by and everyone yielded but the person behind me and they ran into us. While we were in the rental car, because our car was getting fixed from the last person that ran into us not paying attention. <sighs> not fun. Um, I am alive and well. My husband is alive and well. The kids are alive and well. The babies are alive and well. Um, but this time the uh, hospital did do some additional tests, which they didn't do last time. So we did find out some things. Um, basically, I have this trait called alpha thalassemia. Um, I've like obviously had it since birth. Um, but because of it, the impact like caused some red blood cells to burst. And so they were concerned about that um, for a while and making sure that um, there was no placenta blood in my blood, just a whole thing. Um, everything turned out okay. Also in this last little bit of time, I finally had my anatomy ultrasound, which was supposed to like you're supposed to have that at 20 weeks well my doctor like couldn't I don't know it's a whole thing but basically like they just were so booked that they that they couldn't like book me and so I only got it at like um, 24 going on 25 weeks and um, that was really challenging I had to go out like over an hour to a different doctor to get it scheduled um, to get my anatomy scan done. So that was done at 25 weeks. And because of it, the babies had grown so much that they weren't able to get all the images that they were supposed to. Um, nonetheless, it was a <laughs> two hour scan. Each baby took a full hour. Um, so that was fun. Um, notice my sarcasm. <laughs> No, it was great to see the babies, but not great to sit still for a two hour ultrasound when you're super pregnant with twins. <laughs> oh, also in the ultrasound, um, I got my results, like the doctor called me later the next day and basically my cervix had began to change and so they were um, slightly concerned about that um, with it opening and so I basically have to be on watch for that. <sighs> I have also been to the hospital one additional time um, since and that was like, oh my gosh, it was literally like right after work like around four and we were there until after 1 a.m. Um, and basically um, basically I was experiencing some leakage among some other things and um, just like some contractions and so uh, the doctors wanted me to go in to be seen for that everything turned out to be okay what's new in 26 weeks of twins uh, <laughs> If you ask my husband, he'll say that I have been super irritable. <laughs> I definitely have experienced like moodiness. The babies are moving a lot. Um, what I did find at the ultrasound is that um, before I didn't really know who baby A and baby B was. I didn't pay attention. I just knew like, I knew who they were like in terms of like my relationship with them basically, but not like the medical way. And so um, I learned that one of my girls is um, baby A and that that means that she is the closest basically to the birth canal um, and that she would be coming out first. And so that was um, actually not great to hear because um, baby B, my other girl, has been head down and um, now has flipped 
and so she's now breached but baby a has always been breached she's always been head up and um what i knew before was that in order and according to my doctor because like every doctor is different especially in twin pregnancies certain doctors are willing to do things that other doctors aren't so specifically my doctor said i am fine to give birth vaginally as long as um the first baby to come out is head down well i didn't realize the first baby to come out was already like you know pre-decided i just figured like she was head down and i thought she was lower just because of their placement but it turns out she's not lower so it doesn't even matter what she over here is doing it matters what she's doing and she's been breached the whole time so <laughs> She's got some weeks to flip because um, obviously I'm really not wanting a C-section. Uh, you don't have to have a C-section for twins despite what lots of people think. Um, baby A just needs to be head down. So um, yeah, so I'll be praying for that as well as when the time gets a little bit closer we'll try some flipping methods to help her transition. Do we have names? Yes. Do some people know the names? Yes. <laughs> Did I want people to know the names yet? No. <laughs> uh, but some people have just been like, ah, do you have names? Do you have names? Do you have names? And as much as like at first I was like, um, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Like, or uh, we're not sharing yet. Some people just don't uh, get it. And it, I'm just not that obsessed about it to like, wait to share it so it is what it is some people know some people don't i'm not going to share online yet we will share that a little bit later but yes they do have names they've had names for a while work i am working i've been working um when i first got back on youtube i was basically in my complete self-employment finishing my real estate license uh, licensing process and then doing ride share. Well, I'm fully licensed as a real estate agent now and I'm not doing ride share anymore. I worked a summer camp at an elementary and now I am working the before and after school program for that elementary. And finally, my first house will be ready to list um, as of hopefully this week. <laughs> That's a long story in and of itself, but it is what it is. <laughs> yes, I am working, so I have to be to work at 6.45 a.m. I work until the school day starts and then have a long in between time and come back at 2 45 to work until 6 p.m so is this schedule ideal no um because i have been the person to drop off and pick up my kids since they've been in preschool and now i don't get to do that as well as like i am you know the mom like i do traditional mom things like i say traditional because everyone has their own thing but just like thinking traditionally i do the cooking i do the cleaning like i do the prepping the kids um things for school and like prepping them and that's what i like that's what i want to do that's my heart to do um i don't want my husband doing those things um he has his own things and so that makes it really hard because not only am I getting off at six, but like I don't live close to the school. Like I live cities away. <laughs> so that's really um, disappointing for me, um, but it is what it is. This is basically the schedule that I was able to get this year. And so the other thing about it is I did tell them I'm not gonna work Friday afternoons so that I can pick up the kids once a week and be present in their classroom for that period of time so I do have that all that being said this is only until I deliver because obviously I'm not well not obviously because I did work right after I had my son I was working two weeks after I had him by the way <laughs> full-time <laughs> so I do work postpartum but this time I am going to thank God have a maternity leave we'll see what it looks like for me going back to work i won't be doing the split shift anymore because that's just not going to work with having two infants um, i can't just like get childcare first thing in the morning and then you know later in the day like it doesn't really work like that i don't know what it's going to look like to go back um going back this school year i would only work one of those shifts either morning or afternoon um 
but that would be a really significantly small amount of hours. So, I don't know. I don't have any answers for that and I'm fine with it. Baby shower, am I having a baby shower? Probably not. That is a long story that will be untold on YouTube. <laughs> so, um, for many reasons, it's just not gonna happen this time and that's okay. Everyone on social media um, who has taken the time to like in their own way celebrate me, thank you. Um, you know, I have family members excited for me and so uh, it is what it is. <laughs> I will, <laughs> my husband and I will celebrate ourselves this time. Oh, as far as the place to live, so y'all know we were in a house and then we had to move out because that's the house that I'm about to sell. Um, so we had to move in with my Nana and she has other people living in her house too. <laughs> so basically I've got a lot of roommates. We were looking into getting a place, but basically we weren't able to get in at the time that I was hoping to. Um, but as of right now, I kind of anticipated the house being ready to be on the market sooner so that when I went on maternity leave, that commission could provide for my rent. Uh, my portion of the rent, obviously my husband works very hard. We're trying to get into a place right now, um, not knowing when I'll get that commission is kind of tricky because I do know, commission or not, I will be going on maternity leave unpaid by my work. So I'm still at my Nana's house with all these people. So that's what it is. I do have some great news. I bought a new car. <laughs> it's new to me. <laughs> But it is a 03 Dodge Caravan. It does fit seven um, and we're a family of six now. So thank God I have that out of the way. I really wanted to have it away, have it out of the way by um, like what is September, like September, latest October, just because like we're getting really close <laughs> to the babies being here and just you with twins, you just never know. And so that was really important for me. I will be buying car seats very soon. And so yeah, that's out of the way. So as of right now, the babies will be coming home to stay at this house with me. Um, there will be six of us in one room um, in our tiny little corner of the house. That should last for a very short period of time because the moment I get that commission, I'm moving out. <laughs> So thank God, uh, all will be well. My next doctor's appointment is at 28 weeks. And then I believe after that, they wanna see me every two weeks. Um, soon I will have to take my glucose test. Not looking forward to that. And then they'll like check my blood again um, as far as like what's going on with my anemia levels because when the red blood cells burst, they were like, also you're like the most anemic you've ever been. Thank you for bearing with me for this 26 week <laughs> twin pregnancy update. Roger family, thank you. As always, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified when we post, like this video, comment down below if you think that they're gonna be identical or fraternal, or like if you kind of have like a hope, like, oh, I hope they're identical or fraternal. Um, and anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching, bye. By the way, shout out to my sister Karen for buying me this growing twin shirt. It's awesome. Growing twins.